Sometimes we learn by imitation. We look around for somebody who's doing what we want to do in a way that we admire or at least accept, and then we take that person as an example to follow. Now, of course, we call that person a role model. But inventing that term took years of hard work on the part of sociologists. They began by talking about reference groups, the groups whose behaviour serves as a model for others. There are also reference individuals, particular people that we imitate. In the 1950s, the sociologist Robert K. Merton made a distinction between people who serve as patterns for living and role models whom we imitate in specific roles like studying insects, playing basketball or parenting. We find the latter term in an article about the student physician in 1957. By the time students enter law or medical school, those whose decisions were made earliest are most likely to have a role model. Today, Merton's careful distinction is long forgotten by everyone, except perhaps sociologists. Nowadays, role models can model whole lives as well as particular skills. We seek good role models to follow and criticise those who are bad role models. And we know that when we grow up, for better or worse, we can expect to become role models too.